What is up ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to my new project. Everyone, if you have been watching my videos, I have been keeping this a very special secret. Actually, no I have not. I have been hinting at this every single video at the end of every single video. Guys, this is my new project called What Should Have Happened. This is where I'm going to be taking certain films. As you can see the film I'm targeting today, oh it's going to be a doozy. But I'm wanting to use this to where I can take films that might have been bad but can but can be changed to where they might even eventually be good and even though I know Mortal Kombat Annihilation is a terrible piece of garbage, like the kind of garbage that you don't even want to look at, I believe that this had some interesting stuff. Now, before you all decide to leave the video, just hear me out. There were some things from Mortal Kombat 3 that were in here and just tweaked a little bit. I think we could have got something better. So if you guys are ready, let's find out what should have happened in... Okay, so I'm going to have this in two to three sections. The first section is going to be known as what I would keep, then I'm going to do what I would change. I would do a what I would take out, but that list is not big enough. So everything that I'm about to list, they're going to go exactly what happened to Glenn in The Walking Dead. Oh what? Oh what? Come on! Come on! It was right there! Just like Glenn's head. Oh, 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 okay, okay, last joke, last joke, come on. All right, okay, but yes, so what I would keep. Now, the reason I wanted to keep this was because this is something that was kind of in the games. So for any of those who don't know Mortal Kombat lore, Shao Kahn invaded the world of Adenia, which was ran, or not really ran, but... It was inhabited by Sindel and her daughter Katana and her husband. Katana was eventually adopted by Shao Kahn because Shao Kahn came in, invaded, killed her father, and then adopted her, which was why he was able to come into Adenia and invade. There was nothing to stop him. However, when Sindel killed herself, it allowed the portals to close. Shao Kahn was not able to invade any other realm. However, when he resurrects her in Mortal Kombat 3, that basically bursts open the door, which allows him to invade. And that is why I like what they kept with this. Also, I like that this, this kind of gives the villains a little bit of one-up on our heroes, and also gives our heroes a starting point for their journey. So that's why I would have kept this, and I just thought it was something a little bit that was close to the game. Next one I would keep, Sonya rescuing Jax. Now the reason I liked this was because I didn't mind the introduction of how we met Jax. He's got his metal arms, which is in Mortal Kombat 3. However, you do not end up having the, someone from the Cyberlink Quay, which that is also in the, the things I would get rid of. The things I would get rid of in this, the Cyberlink Quay, Night Wolf, Freaking Reptile, freaking Shiva, freaking Rain, freaking Aramak, freaking Shao Kahn, and Rain and Brothers, freaking Shinnok being their father! Whew, sorry. Okay. But, yes, so instead of having it from someone who you would need to go into a further backstory to make sense, instead, you put Baraka, who doesn't really need much of a backstory. He can pretty much be that one character where you don't really need any explanation, but you can somewhat make him important. You can have him and Sonya and Jax, you can have Jax and Sonya team up to fight him, and then eventually, like, before he escapes, you can have him make it personal between him and Sonya because of something that happened later on in the beginning of the film, or earlier on. Now what I would keep is Raiden submitting his humanity to basically join Earthrealm to fight. Because that is honestly something that Raiden would do. He does it because of how much he loves Earthrealm. And I actually think this was an okay thing to do, except I didn't like the actor. But pretty much having him show how much he cares for Earth, willing to submit himself to be turning human to fight Mortal Kombat with his friends, also that he calls his family in the movie... Doing this also allowing him to have that one-on-one -on -one time with Jax where he sees Jax's metal arms and he's like, faith in, all, in yourself is all you need to win a fight in Mortal Kombat. So you can have that scene where him and Raiden are talking where he's like, Jax, those arms are not your strength, they're your weakness, and you can have this scene come back later on in the film. Next would I would keep Sonya wandering through Outworld with Jax. Now another reason I like this was because I actually thought this was somewhat good storytelling and somewhat good character development with Jax basically trying to, I guess, pick up where they left off or trying to basically show us that these two were partners when they worked together and 
that he's just trying to stay her partner. He's trying to guide her, or not guide her, but he's trying to be by her side. And what you have Sony do is shove him to the side because the last time she really trusted somebody, it resulted in tragedy. And you could have like her having like flashbacks to what happened to her friend and have this be the reason why, no, I can't trust anybody but me. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up being disappointed and hurt because I will lose them and I can't protect them. So you can have this be a good character developing moment and eventually have this be resolved at the end of the film. Next, with that, okay, now we're going to go to what I would uh, change. So this, oh, I'm going to change a lot. So first of all, for any of you who don't know, Shao Kahn does not have an army of ninjas. The only ninjas that are associated with him is most likely Aramak and possibly Rain, but Rain has his own agenda. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take Lucille here and we're gonna just do this to what happened to Abraham instead. Die, 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 yes. Get rid of the army of ninjas and replace them with an army of Tarkatans, which Baraka is the leader of their race. So you can have the Tarkatans actually do something imposing instead of just chasing after the heroes. You can actually have a scene like before the final battle, like where the heroes are looking all around at what the merging of the realms has done, and you can show Tarkatans either killing innocent people or enslaving them and making the goal of the heroes that much bigger and important. You can actually have them do something instead of going like, yeah, we will chase them, yeah, we will kill them, yeah, we suck at our jobs. So yeah, that's what I would change, and that's why I would change it. Next what I would change is the army of generals. Okay, so you see the four-armed woman, you see the purple ninja, you see the red ninja, no reference. They do nothing in this film. Their stories are not explained, they make no sense. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of her, rid of him, rid of him, keep Mataro, cause he's pre pretty much like a secondary boss. So what we do is we switch it with Baraka, Sindel, and Noob Saibot. Yes, I would be doing this story in my version of this film because it would be a good way to get the story at least shown and it would be something I think very interesting for the fans and even people who have not even played Mortal Kombat I think it'd be something very interesting so that is why now what I would change is Johnny Cage's death now for any of those who are getting ready to come after me with pitchforks guns a tank or anything hold on just hold on a second okay so now who here knows what Mortal Kombat is known for Mortal Kombat is known for the fatalities heck I would play a Mortal Kombat just so I could die and watch the grotesque murder of my character. So instead of having Shao Kahn breaking Johnny Cage's neck, which isn't bad as impactful as getting hit by an old person on a scooter. No, what you do is you have Shao Kahn perform a fatality in front of everyone. And you can have this deck death affect everyone. You can have it affect Sonya, especially. You can have it affect Liu Kang. You can have it affect Raiden. This would show how imposing Shao Kahn is and would also show he means business and that he is not to be taken lightly and trifled with. And it does not make him a person with daddy issues. Now, Katana's capture. I didn't actually mind this, but instead what we're going to do, you just ha you give her the same dialogue. Her and Liu Kang are going to go get Sindel so they can reunite them together. You can have Sonya basically be like, look, Liu, if anything happens to me, don't worry about it. You can have Liu do the whole entire thing where he's not going to lose her. They kiss, or they almost attempt to, but then they're interrupted by Tarkatans who is led by a look-alike Baraka. So you can have these guys fight, and then they are saved by Sub-Zero. And then when they are about to leave, when Sub-Zero makes the Bridge of Ice from the film, you can have Noob Saiba appear, and then Sub-Zero and Noob can fight. Because he would be trying to either kidnap Katana or attack Liu Kang, and then you could have Noob put Sub-Zero in the situation he was in, and then you can have Liu Kang do his failed physics defying front flip, save Sub-Zero, and when he saves him, Noob can come up and either grab suckers or basically be like, this is payback for what you did, hinting at something from the previous film and building to something later on. And then you can have Sub-Zero eventually disappear to go look for Noob Saibot because there's a, he thinks that Noob might be his brother. Next, the animality. Now, remember how I said Nightwolf was in the bag of people that I would get rid of with Lucille? Well, here's what instead I would do with the animality. You can keep it, but have it go different. You can have Lou pursuing to go find Katana. You can have him stop for the night. He eventually has a nightmare where he has lost his brother 
he has lost one of his friends in Mortal Kombat. He lost Johnny Cage in a very brutal way. He lost someone he loved. And like you can have what Liu Kang like be having this inner anger, this doubt, like, you know, how can I protect the realm if I can't even protect my friends and my family? You could have this kind of like Bruce Banner where he just eventually, like, he just gets so angry it unleashes something new inside of him. Liu Kang basically being like, I have to have something else to beat Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat or else the whole realm is doomed. You could have this be what does the animality instead of having an axe thrown at your head that doesn't kill you. Now what I would change, Jade. So here's another Mortal Kombat lesson. Who here knows Jade is not evil? I do. Yes, Jade is not evil. But what you do, you give her her backstory from the games. You have her be Katana's best friend from childhood. So when all the generals and everyone who are in Outworld are talking about how to get rid of the Earthrealmers, you can have Jade mention what about Katana, and you can even have Sindel mention that Katana betrayed them for Earthrealm and that she is no longer her daughter and that she will die. So you could have this be where Jade goes off to warn Katana, and you could even have her be pursued by Melina. You can give Melina her backstory from the games. She was meant to eventually replace Katana. So you could have her go and follow Jade, and eventually, when she meets up with everybody before the rescue of Katana, you can have basically Jade be like, that is not Melina, uh, that is not Katana, that is Melina. You can have Katana and Jade eventually team up to fight, uh, Sindel and Melina, but you could have Melina and Jade always have this hint at rivalry, like Jade was always there to protect Katana from being assassinated by Melina, and you can have Melina basically like, you interfered when it was not your business, and having this be their fight. So now, Katana's rescue would basically kind of go the same way, except you get rid of the forearm princess, replace her with Noob Saibot, and then you can have Liu Kang actually rescue Katana because Noob would let her, and then he appears, and then he starts fighting Liu Kang because he wants Katana to feel the same pain that he felt when Liu Kang killed him. I know that really it doesn't somewhat make sense, but it would basically be a be revenge thing, and then you can have Sub-Zero come in and save them, and then you could have basically this be what kind of starts their fight for the final battle near the end of the film. Now, the final battle, I would have first Raiden and Shao Kahn. And the reason why is because the thing with this backstory and Immortal Kombat Conquest is whenever the realms are merging together or whenever Raiden is in our world, his powers will eventually start to fade away. So you could have Raiden fight Shao Kahn and either Kahn can kill him or beat him within an inch of his life. This gives Liu Kang the anger to fight Shao Kahn. That starts their battle. Mataro and Jax. What you can do with that is basically the same thing almost that happened in the film. You can have him try to use his robotic arms, but they cause him to get defeated. Uh, you can even have Mataro rip off one of his arms and slap Jax with it, and then you can have Jax start to remember what Raiden said, but you can even also have Jax fighting with one of his real, real arms and his robotic ones, having his real one be better. And then you can have him eventually get rid of the other one, and then he is able to subdue Mataro. Not kill him, but subdue him. Now, with Katana and Jade fighting Sindel and Melina, you can have Sindel mock Katana about like how she never loved her and that Melina was always her true daughter. You can have these two team up and have them attack Katana personally, and then eventually Jade and Katana find a way to work together to use their own moves against uh, Melina and Sindel. Basically, make it to where Sindel and Melina's team up eventually ends up being their downfall. Noob, Saibot, and Sub-Zero. You could have Noob basically talk to Sub-Zero about how he should be defend he should be trying to kill Liu Kang for taking his family away from him. But you can even have like Sub-Zero realize that his brother has changed, that his brother was evil, and then you could basically be like, well, I know you are no longer my brother, but I am going to avenge his death. You are what killed my brother, not Liu Kang. Now with Sonya and Baraka, what you could do with this, you could actually make this maybe like a main focus of the of the movie. You could have Baraka when she when he fights uh, Sonya the first time, you could have him like mention Johnny Cage's death and like the effect it had on her. And like you could talk about how he gloated and enjoyed watching Johnny just be murdered uh, so harshly. And you could have this be something like that paralyzes and makes Sonya start to lose to where eventually she realizes that she needs Jax's help. She needs her partner's help to where eventually he comes and helps her and they kind of rekindle their friendship. 
Now, we go to Shao Kahn and Liu Kang. So now what I would do with this is I would have Liu Kang and Shao Kahn fight each other to where eventually Shao Kahn kind of does this thing where he's like, I'm going to make you watch your friends die and then I will kill you myself. You have failed them just like you failed, you failed Raiden, you failed Katana. And like you could even have him basically like you even failed Johnny Cage who I enjoyed killing and I... Uh, and you failed your brother. You could have Shao Kahn mention all this and you're probably, well, how would he know? I mean, you could probably say that Shao Kahn watched Mortal Kombat from Outworld, like he was able to see it visually. So you could have him use that to mess with Liu Kang. But you have this be what makes Liu Kang turn into the dragon. And you can have Shao Kahn say his line, impressive, but not good enough. Not where we have him turn into the monster from Hercules, but you have it be where Shao Kahn is not intimidated and he goes one-on-one -on -one with Liu Kang in his dragon form. Eventually they fight each other to where it knocks them both uh, it knocks them both down. It knocks Liu Kang out of his dragon form, but it also knocks Shao Kahn's helmet off. Something that has never been done before. Kind of like a humiliation kind of thing. And you can have this be kind of what starts his downfall. Him, like, you know, starting to like mock Liu Kang and letting his ego be what defeats him. Kind of like in the, in the games. But you could also have kind of Shao Kahn doom himself. So the reason why the Elder Gods have not been mentioned in this film is because I kind of just basically wanted to do with them what they do in Mortal Kombat 9 and then basically say to Raiden earlier on, hey, look, we're not going to interfere because this has nothing to do with us. We are not threatened. However, you could have Shao Kahn mention, once I'm done with Earthrealm, the Elder Gods are next. You could have Shao Kahn kind of doom himself the Elder Gods give Liu Kang the strength to beat Shao Kahn to eventually where he either kills him or just knocks him out, which would lead to a sequel for another movie possibly. But you could have his shattered helmet um, resemble the defeat of the villain. And you could even have the Elder Gods do what they were going to do in Mortal Kombat Conquest and undo everything Shao Kahn did. Turning Sindel back to good, Raiden uh, either fully healed or back to life, except Johnny Cage's death. And then you can have Raiden eventually be like, I'm going to go join the Elder Gods. I will be watching, you know, stay out of trouble. Basically, give it a good ending. So, guys, I know that Mortal Kombat Annihilation is a horrible film. And I know that this film would not be A-plus material. But I feel like this would be a very good, faithful video game adaptation. Just by, twe just by tweaking some things. And I really enjoyed making this video. I really did. It was so fun to dive into a movie that I hated, but I also love Mortal Kombat. And I just wanted you all to see why I love Mortal Kombat so much and how I would make this a better film. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed what should have happened. Please put in the comments below, what did you think of this first video? Do you want the series to continue? I love making these, and I would gladly go into another movie and fix it to make it a little bit better. Guys, I hope you are enjoying this day. Thank you for staying, uh, staying for what should have happened in... I hope to see you guys next time on another episode of What Should Have Happened because we're going to be going to Cinetober. Have a good day, guys.